Hi, it's Tony Tricelius from Cheap Scrapbook Stuff coming to you with this week's Hump Day Inspiration. And today I did something a little bit different than the norm. I took four different six by eight paper pads and made a whole bunch of layouts using um, shimmer card stock for the background and the paper pad. So I'm gonna show you um, a bunch of different things you can do, a bunch of different layouts. First one is Bungalow Lane, Paige Evans Bungalow Lane, and I used the 6x8 and the 2x2 two two swatch book. So here's the first layout. And basically I used rose shimmer cardstock and light silver shimmer cardstock. And I took the swatch book and just lined them up along the edges. Now if you don't have a coordinating swatch book, you can use like a two by two uh, journaling card page, or you can cut your own two by two boxes. Um, either will work. And I matted it just to kind of set it off. So line those up around the page. And then I took two other pages and cut them in half. And I didn't put photo mats on here because I was really just trying to show you the design. Um, but there was plenty of paper left in the 6x8 to do photo mats. Or we could use um, more shimmer cardstock. So that's the first layout I did. Second layout is also done on the rose shimmer. And what I did here was I took four pages and cut them into half and just put them around the page and then I took two other pages and cut I want to say an inch strip and set them off to set off the others so I, so I kind of lined them up around the other rectangles um, you get what I did I'm having a hard time explaining it but um, and then I took one more of the swatch book and stuck those right in the center. Um, you could stick a big, another rectangle in the center. You could stick your photo in the center. Lots of options. So that's the first one, again, um, done from Bungalow Lane. Okay, next. I used um, Market Square on this one. And I also used the Bungalow Lane washi tape on the next layout, but the paper I used on both of these is Market Square. And on this one, I used Chocolate Shimmer cardstock. And similar to the last one, well, not really, um, I took three pages and cut them in half and set the rectangles. And then I took a couple of other pages. So this book had, um, two sheets of each design. So I had enough to use the same um, to mirror the pages. But again, I cut one inch strips and kind of set them in the empty spots, vertical and horizontal. And then I took another page and did the outline. So that's the next layout. So very geometric. Um, again, didn't do photo mats, but you could put them however you want on the page. Okay, next layout. This one I used taupe and navy shimmer cardstock, and this is the one where I used the washi tape from Bungalow Lane. And what I did was I took and cut six by six squares from four different coordinating papers. And then I just kind of set them off with the washi tape. And then I took a big six by eight sheet and matted it on the navy cardstock and set that in the center. Um, there was a journaling card page in the box. So I cut, I fussy cut the arrows. And then this one obviously just cut the square and matted those on the navy. So there we go, two more layouts. This one, again, done with Maggie Holmes Market Square. Market Square, okay. Next one, um, I just did one layout. So this one, I'm gonna show you. I didn't mat anything down because I wanted to show you the layout. So this one's done with Jen Hadfield's Reaching Out collection. And I also used 
the alphabet pins for the embellishment. So let me take this stuff off. Okay, so what I did was I used green apple shimmer cardstock. Oh, and I also used fernwood washi tape. So I used the fernwood washi tape and set it around the edge which almost makes it look like you matted the green apple on a sheet of patterned paper. Um, and then I took three different, four different, four different sheets and cut them into four by three squares. Um, and I just kind of set the squares in a grid pattern. Now, if you wanted to, you could put them closer together. I didn't because when I put the photo mats on the page, I wanted to be able to see the grid. Um, and if I would have put them closer together, you wouldn't be able to do that. So anyways, um, and then I picked two more sheets of coordinating paper, actually four more sheets of coordinating paper, um, and I matted my photo mats um, because I needed to make them bigger than the photo mats, obviously, and I'm only dealing with a six inch sheet of paper. So, um, so that was that. And then I added some fun, there was a two by two sheet. So I added a fun element and um, put the safety pin on there. Um, and you can use it to embellish the page. Oops, that's upside down. There we go. I didn't mat that, I gotta mat it, but um, like that. And then I also made a couple of journaling boxes if you wanted to put them on the page. So that's that one, and that again is done with Jen Hadfield's Reaching Out collection. And then the last one I did is done with Fernwood, Vicki Booten. Okay, and again, I didn't mat it because I wanted to be able to see what we did. Okay, so this one I used taupe shimmer cardstock and I used the really thick washi tape. And again, put the washi tape around the border. And then I just took several sheets of the paper pad and I cut um, three by four inch squares and then cut them on the diagonal. And then I just randomly placed them on the page. So it gives you, um, a really abstract look. I mean, both of my pages do not look the same. So, I mean, you can make it look symmetrical if you want. Um, I chose to go random. And then I took um, big photo mats. Again, you could do whatever works for your picture. Um, so I just took and did um, like a five by seven. I figured the mat would be for a five by seven photo. And I outlined it with washi tape. And then um, I added a journaling box and an element box, because there was a page in the paper pad for that. And there you have it. Two more layouts. So, um, very easy layouts again done with six by eight paper pad and there's still plenty of paper left in there um, you could almost depending on if it's a paper pad that is um, double-sided or single-sided and then one of each paper or two of each paper you probably could almost do all of these layouts with one pad um, especially if you were conservative with your paper. Um, so if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. If you want to see still shots, you can zoom on over to our Instagram page and I'll have still pictures up there. Thanks and make it a great day.